Hey Space Cowboys, it's your girl Seasonal Frostbite and I'm back baby, I'm back with another polymer clay doll shoe tutorial. So stay tuned. I'm going to start off as usual with a fleece of clay rolled out to the thickest setting on your pasta machine. And by the way, all the materials are in the description box in case you guys are wondering, so please check that out later. Now I'm going to take my template and I am going to just cut out as normal, you know, you know the drill here. Do I really have to go through this? Now I am going to texture the sole with these straight lines and this is just going to give it more depth and a more realistic feel. And I'm also even going to take my tool and uh, kind of curve the sides a little bit to give it more depth as well so it doesn't look so flat. I'm also going to bake it on some foil like this just so it will curve to the doll's foot and get a better look. And on the thinnest setting on my pasta machine, I'm going to start cutting out the sides of the shoe. So this is the front of the shoe that I'm cutting off here. And I'm going to glue that on with female deco gel. Remove the Sorry, I, I can't myself. So then, yeah, you know, I'm pressing it on the shoe. You know, I, you know, I'm doing that. We doing this. Look at my nails on. They cute. All right. So you know, I gotta use Big Sam. Smooth it out a little bit. Do you want it to be as perfect before you start baking? That way, you don't have to sand or do all that nonsense that you seen in my last tutorials. Now I'm gonna add the lip here. And um, I'm going to add some texture here. And as you can see in my step one and step two and step three, blah, 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 all that nonsense, it's going to be like a leather texture. But I'm going to bake this with a piece of foil in here. It will just come out a lot better, trust me. And you'll see why because I make mistakes too. So here's the mistake I made. As you see, my template is a little bit too long on my lips, which is cool. Longer is better. You can always cut it off like so. And now I'm going to glue on my first side. And this time you don't have to bake the first side first because of the sole in the front. And before you bake it, always do your details. And I'm actually adding my details now. You know, nope, the other part. There we go. One side's baked. And uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna add some details once the shoe is baked. I'm gonna add like these cute little, I don't know, stripes things. Do, do, do. Some good looking shoes, I want these shoes. So now once it's all um, baked, I'm gonna add on the final details with my very, very small um, needle. And I'm gonna start painting on these little hash marks. And you can see it does take a long time to get there. And then last but not least, I'm going to add the last final detail, which is this weird little cabochon thing that goes on there, but I got to paint it like this bronze gold to get it on there. It's just a special little detail that is really going to make your shoe look just pop. So now for laces, I'm just going to take a couple strands of thread, glue it together with Elmer's glue, and then just cut in place. And you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Shout out to the homie time. Shout out to the homie Emmy. Shout out to the homie. What's up, Emmy? Yeah. <laughs> See you guys next time. Do you love my work? Are you liking this? Did you ever subscribe? Did you thumbs up? I heard you subscribed. Is it true? Are you a patron? If not, please donate too. And you say, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I subscribe. I subscribe, it's alright, you say hell yeah, 